Hola, hola amigos, ¿cómo están? Disculpen que no haya hecho más vídeos hace mucho, mucho tiempo. Bueno, lo que pasa es que estaba muy, muy ocupado con muchas cosas, bueno, con muchos planes, con muchos proyectos también, por eso les pido perdón. Y a pedido de algunos de ustedes, voy a continuar con este tema, que es el contraste del artículo determinado y el indeterminado que en los temas anteriores no podemos, lo pudimos ver en el capítulo 6 por ejemplo nosotros ya vimos sobre el artículo determinado por favor ve este vídeo si es que todavía no entiendes sobre qué estoy hablando y también sobre el artículo indeterminado o la ausencia de los artículos perdón de que no hay artículos y el artículo indeterminado en el 4 en el 5 en el 6 se habla todo sobre este tema, pero lógicamente mira desde el primer tema también. Va a ser muy importante para ti, estoy seguro. Ok, my friends, uh, now I'm sorry, please, I didn't make this video a long time. I'm sorry, I miss you, but uh, I had a lot of deals, a lot of projects, so now I, I'm free. I have a little time and I happy I'm very happy to make a new video because uh, some of you uh, asked me about this topic about the contrast of uh, indefinite article and uh, definite article if you remember one more time in English but in Spanish I say it, uh, we saw about um, Determine a definite article in the lesson six, okay, and the five lesson about um, absent of article when you don't need put or do don't need uh, to say article to use article and um, indefinite article. It's very important to uh, important you watch these videos but you need to watch all videos from first lesson okay so now i will continue so i will start about this uh, this topic contrast between definite article and indefinite article okay and shortly in short uh, i can say you and indefinite article when you say or you talk about something someone uh, first time first time you need to say something but you don't need to be specific okay use I use you can use indefinite article for example I have a parrot I have a dog What use? Use indefinite article. Tengo un loro y un perro. So, when you need to say more details, you need to share more detail. For example, what uh, what name, what uh, parrot's name? For example, what's parrot name? Parrot's name. For example, el loro se llama Ricky. Um, okay. The parrot's name is Ricky. For example, uh, the dog's name is Trotsky. El perro se llama Trotsky. Use deter definite, definite article. Okay, for example, I'm reading a book. I'm reading a book about some singer. You don't have specific nothing, anything. So. I'm reading, estoy leyendo un libro, one book sobre una cantante about some singer. Okay? Use indefinite article. When definite article you you say you share more details, you are more specific. For example, el libro se titula Mi vida la cantante tiene. The title books Uh, or the book's title is 
mi vida, my life. La cantante tiene, the singer has, specific singer, okay? So, now when you talk about one person, one animal, or thing, uh, but this animal, this person, or this thing, is part of kinds or group. For example, un hijo de Andrés es médico. One son of Andrés is doctor. Okay? But Andrés tiene tres hijos. Pero Andrés tiene tres hijos. Andrés has three children. Three boys. But one of they, there, is doctor. For, him, for example, okay? Por ejemplo, un hijo de Andrés es médico, okay? But for example, a specific uh, son or people, for example, uh, la hija de Rosa es escritora. The daughter, the Rosa's daughter, is writer. But Rosa has only one daughter, specific daughter. La hija de Rosa es escritora, okay? For example, Tucumán is una ciudad de Argentina. Tucumán is uh, one city of Argentina. But hay muchas ciudades en Argentina. There are a lot of cities in Argentina. But Tucumán is one of all. Uh, of all okay? Buenos Aires is la capital de Argentina. Specific. Buenos Aires is the capital of Argentina. When you say only specific about the capital of Argentina, because of course all countries has only one capital, so then use only definite article. Okay. For example, I watched a movie of uh, romantic, okay, drama of drama. So. There are a lot of movies of this uh, kind, okay? But, um, for example, I talk about only one of all of this, okay? Los actores eran muy malos. The actors were very... So, but now specific about only one, uh, about actors, okay? Not about... Uh, facts of these movies or other details about the specific about actors okay necesito alquilar un coche i need to arrange one uh, car not important uh, what mark okay of cars necesito alquilar un coche okay un coche cualquier any car necesito alquilar un coche but necesito a, a arreglar el coche I need to fix the car this is my car this specific car I know this car okay so you need to you need to know the difference this is the contrast of this of these articles okay for example now about uh, use indefinite article when you need to indicate uh, the count Okay, for example, un melón, por favor. For example, the seller, you say, oh, one melon, please, one orange, please, one banana, please. Okay, specific, two, three, four, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Un melón, por favor, okay? Use indefinite article. Uh, for example, but you need to say, I like so much, I like... Uh, so much uh, the melon, the melon. In Spanish you say me encanta el melon, me encanta el melon, me gusta el melon. Use definite article. Okay, this is all of this contrast. How you can use, please, now I, you need to stop the video and do this, okay, yourself, if you have any question. Please, you write in the comments. Si tienes algunas preguntas, por favor, escribe en los comentarios. Es para ti. Haz stop. Y, por favor, haz este video.
uh, haz estos ejercicios. You need to do these tasks. Okay. So now uh, the next two, these two, you need to do yourself and write please in the comments the answers. Okay? So and here please stop one more time and you need to do yourself so the next time we will uh, talk about um, the articles but with special use specially use with names okay owner names okay we will talk about the next time Muchas gracias por su atención. La siguiente vez vamos a ver este tema del artículo determinado con nombres propios. Por favor, eso tienen que hacerlos ustedes mismos. Son ejercicios. En los comentarios, por favor, hagan stop. Y compartan preguntas si es que tienen preguntas en los comentarios. Muchas gracias por su atención, suscríbanse al canal, pongan me gusta, compartan con sus amigos y bueno, les desea mucho, pero mucho éxito. Nos vemos y por favor, no se olviden, please subscribe in this channel, you share this video with your, friend, with your friends and like, ok? Thank you very much, muchas gracias y hasta pronto. Adiós.